So guys, I gotta tell y'all something. Hey guys, Nikki here. We got a lot of exciting things, deals, sponsorships. It's popping in this vlog, to me at least. It's, it's a very new feel on life. I'm loving it. Um, but guess what? Equate is going to sponsor this vlog again. Yes, they did sponsor my last vlog. Bring it on. I love y'all. Y'all love me. Why not? Let's get straight to it. <laughs> so what is Equate, right? It's a sleepwear, loungewear, lingerie. They even have clothes to type company. I talk about them all the time, but just in case you're new here, or this is your first video of mine, top quality. Top quality, moo moo, sleepwear, loungewear, all of that kind of stuff. You can wash it over and over. It don't shrink, it don't, don't tear up. You can find the pieces on Amazon, and I talk about them so much because I love them so much. So this is a little different. It's a pants set. I'll step back a little bit. It's this beautiful eggplant color. The pants do have pockets, <laughs> it's just the top and the bottom. And there is also a pocket right here. So just a cute little around the house or outfit. Cause like I tell you guys all the time, if I want to, I'll throw a crossbody and some heels and wear this to dinner. Double is one. And everything I show you come in multiple colors, but I'm a purple lover, obviously. So I always try to pick purple. All right, guys, let's move into this beautiful lilac number right here. I showed you guys the purple one the last time. And this is the lilac one. I love these. This one doesn't have any pockets, um, but it's still comfortable. There is some little high-low action going on on the side. There's a full view. I love this one, y'all. So comfy, so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I gotta give me somebody to wear this stuff for, guys. This is more a mob tone purple. It is gorgeous. I actually have this in true purple. You guys know I love this one. I'm trying to get it because the belt is attached, baby. You don't have to worry about losing your belt. It will stay. This purple is gorgeous. I want all of the pieces I have from them all over again in this purple. Like what? But it's a teddy and a robe. Like, can I get a boo already? <laughs> Everything I showed you from Equa will be linked below. Thank you guys for sponsoring yet another video of mine. Let's move into the vlog. Hey guys, it's Shirley Auntie. We're starting a new vlog. We're starting off with a banger. We're going to work. Yeah, I'm actually going to work at the outlet. I am. And guess who I'm working with? The Cosmetic Company Store. Bro! <laughs> Have I not been talking about this store? Let me put my veneers in before I forget. Looking like my nails. Have I not been talking about this store before vlogging was even a thing? Have I not been talking about this store before I was even Platinum D? Have I not been talking about this store ever since I was a makeup artist? And I got to go and film sponsored content for them. I tried to make it to where I look normal because they want it to be very organic. Which, you know, I, I'm here all the time, so... I didn't put on anything revealing. I put my fanny pack on because I don't want to have to carry my heavy purse. Um, let's put on a scent. I'm going to put burnt on. It's really, really hot. So I hope it don't take me any more than five, ten minutes to record this because I just need to get content for a Stop spraying. I need to get content for real. Um, if this video loading time, the CCO in Dallas Cosmetics Company Store is what it stands for. I have a whole video on it on my makeup channel. They're doing a bingo where you can win like 
credits to their store and etc you have to visit all three stores in the dallas area i'll put the information below hopefully i'm not too late if i am that's why you should be following me other places like instagram and stuff so you'll know when this stuff is going on in real time that is always linked below so hey siri uh -huh. what time is it Girl, I am rushing. I don't have to be there to one and it's so close to me. So, let me fix my fanny pack and stuff then because I'm sitting up for Russia thinking, Lord, I'm going to just go though. I can get content. They said afternoon. So, I have the manager's number. I don't know how to do this, y'all. I don't want my fading pack sagging. I have the manager's number. And so I texted him on how it was like, hey, what's good for you? And he was like, um, around one. Man, she in. What is this fading pack doing? Oh, it's me, y'all. It ain't she in. And so um, hopefully I get to see London today. That's who got me a lot of opportunities. That's who got me on a two-faced PR list. Not intentionally, but I went in looking for my Estee Lauder and they were sold out. And so London was like, this is it platinum and was right. And so I started using it a lot. And so um, two-faced reached out and that's who got me this opportunity as well. They were looking for influencers and London told them about me. I love y'all. I always say in my little Wayne voice, I ain't without y'all you understand me thank you all for creating these type of opportunities for me i do not sit still i do not go a day unbooked unsponsored um and i love that for me honestly if i could just tell the truth why wouldn't i why the hell wouldn't i let's go baby a dress and it's tall girlfriend look how long it is it's from high quality fashion boutique i am quite sure this dress is sold out though I'm almost certain. Sorry, that light is annoying. I'm almost certain. If it's not, I will link it below. If it is, I'll still link it and check back. Maybe she'll restock. And I have on those uh, Stephen Hermes dupes. Um, fun fact. <laughs> well, no, because ain't nothing fun about it. My toenails done came off. Like three of my toenails done came off. I guess them press on toenails is too much. Let's see this person. I guess those press on toenails is too heavy on my fragile toenails. Remember my hair and nails and stuff is really fragile right now because I'm post menopause. And when I was going to take them off, <laughs> my real toenails was coming off. So I'm going to have to take a break for about a month, which is horrible because it is the middle of the summer. But that's all right. I'm going to just keep clear polish on the ones I got. And what else can I do? Because I'm not going to keep putting toenails on top of her. And it's not those toenails. Even when I get gel polish, it do that to my toenails. So, yeah. Guys, all content is being recorded on my camera today. So, I hope it don't compress it or do anything weird. So, let's go. Here we go. How many times do I mean London, 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 London? And I, I highly expressed how I get a lot of opportunities because of you, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Once again, she smelled good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give her something. I said she better not send it back or nothing. Hold on, turn your airdrop on. What's okay, my, my airdrop. You know how to turn it on? No, how do you do it? Okay. Okay, see in your phone, do this. And then hold down on the Wi Fi button. If okay. you see the Wi Fi well, at the bottom, turn it on for everybody. Okay, for everyone, for 10 minutes. Okay, yeah. Please, just for 10 minutes, because people weird and they'll be air dropping you all kind of stuff. Make sure that shit. Okay, I'm a play bread, baby. <laughs> it's a accept. Okay. Okay, now go in your photos. <laughs> Well, you got two different ones. Oh my God! So whenever you want to be outside. Okay, thank you so much. I'm not going to show y'all what I got. <laughs> Just know when you a play bread, you blaze. <laughs> Give me her. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Guys, come to Grand Prairie. Did they have all of the tongue for it? I'm looking for this, but in the gold bottle. Oh, what is Mariah the Scientist? <laughs> 
I'm, I'm trying to get them to come sit together, lady, y'all. I'm a distraction. These are my friends, though. I love this store. Look at all of this Tom Ford stuff. Do I have good girl gone bad, right? I used to love this in college. Love. If, you walk, if I walked in my classroom, I was going to have on plenty of happy. They got a little thing a little don't be shy. Y'all know that's not one of my favorites, though. Let's see what Joe Malone's that got. I'm going to talk over the music, y'all, because we need our money. Y'all know this is one of my favorites, Peony and Blush Oid. Nectarine Blossom and Honey is one. Okay. Jesus, I just love the whole staff in there. Maggie, London, Colton. I met somebody new today, and my memory is usually really good, but I forgot they quit. Y'all, my lash coming up. But I wasn't really in the content like that, so. <sighs> Baby, it's 92 degrees, and I'm super excited. Let me tell you why. Okay, let me come down. Let me come down. Let me come down. I'm super excited. London, I love you. I love you to pieces. Love you, love you, love you. Okay, so. Let me just dry. Let me just dry. Because <laughs> y'all know I'm a big childish kid at heart. And I used to always ask my wife to bring me to this. And she would always say she would. And never did. <laughs> the bear. I mean, what is it called? Is it a, not a carnival. It's a, um, what is it? It has a name. Is it a fair? They're putting the rides and stuff together now. And it, although I don't ride rides like that. I don't. I'm gonna be out here. Not I left out with the whole store. So yeah, I told y'all I wanted to stop and get my cheese nachos. They get so shocked in a pile when I order these nachos, right? So I'll be like, can I get a nacho with just cheese? And they'll be like, huh? What you say? I'll be like, a nacho with just cheese. They'll be like, no meat, no lettuce, a nacho with just cheese. Even when I got to the window, they was like, you don't want no taco sauce or nothing? Bro, bro, bro. Bro, 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 chips and cheese, chips and cheese, that's all I want. I used to eat them just like, it's no different than stadium nachos, like, they could've gave me some more cheese though. When you go to the football game and stuff, except they be having peppers on them, well, they don't have to. I used to eat these with peppers, but of course you guys know I'm trying to stay away from spicy food. Mm, mm, mm. You go how? Is that ghetto? That's where I'm from. The ghetto. I'm gonna eat with this hand so I can touch products with this one. Don't be some smacking and stuff. Turn off if you don't wanna see it. I'm sorry. London told me to get the Bobby Brown soothing cleansing oil. She was saying how it's an oil, you add water and then make it like soapy and take your makeup out. I'm obsessed with makeup remover. I don't know why. I guess because I be wanting this off my face. Face better than six mascara. One of my faves, Joe Malone. This is a um, body and hand wash. Wild blueberry. Y'all, this thirty dollars. Go to the cosmetic company store, guys. It's all authentic. It's just the overflow before the makeup expires. Sit on the shelf. They send it there discounted and sell it from my understanding another better than sex i always say but what's really better than <laughs> got another one of my born this way concealers they didn't have the foundation this is warm sand this is not the color i usually use but it's gonna work i know what i'm doing i'm gonna pull my makeup artist mix and match i got some mac wipes Remember when these were like the OG wipes? People went crazy over these. I got a big pack. I had two packs, but I pulled one back. Who need to take the day off? I told you I'm obsessed with makeup removers. I told y'all I'm obsessed with makeup removers because when I when I'm ready for something to come off, I'm ready. 
get out for me jewelry clothes makeup somebody's son there's another bag hey i got the old stove there's a big boy of the body and hand wash and this is english parafresia here's a palette from Too Faced. Kyle, let's play sorry y'all with me it says smell like bubble gum oh i can't open it let's see smells like bubblegum very much uh smell like that bubble is the pink one the one that two chews is hard and loses flavor that's what it smell like i need to go through this line and say give me some more cheese uh-uh 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 that mouth big ain't it now mm. yeah, I that. this is clinique the moisturizing lotion it's a double pack Dang! And I got some MAC lashes. I've never in my life used MAC lashes. I got two of these. They were on the five dollar wall. And I got two of these. They were on the five dollar wall. Thank you so much, the cosmetic company store. It's like so surreal when you like shop and go to these stores, all these years and stuff, and then you start working with the companies. Go oh, Jesus. Go, Jesus. <laughs> and I ain't playing. I'm dead serious. What that mean we need to go? We ain't been. We finna go. When I'm done with my nachos. I drop some, y'all. Ooh, I got so much stuff. I love getting stuff like that because even if I'm not gonna technically wear it, use it, I get invited to so much stuff. And when I get invited to this stuff, I don't have to go shop. Like I went to a bridal shower yesterday. She got a whole bottle of perfume because I had an extra one. Extra one. Something's burnt. I think it's these two. She got a whole bottle of perfume because I had extra. She got a whole bunch of teddies that I got from Adore Me that I never even wore. I just showed them to y'all. I ain't got nobody around for. They just sitting in the dresser. And she was so happy. This is not what I imagined today. Should I take him back? I'm literally still right here. Ah, my boy. Mama didn't raise no. We going in here. Baby, don't give me no burnt chips and a, a dibble dabble do your cheese. I work hard for my coins, baby. I get what I'm worth. I'm gonna sashay my, uh. Y'all see that? Yeah. He plumped that butt, didn't he? Did he not? If I'm lying, I'm flying. Ain't this thing thing now? I'm gonna call him. Friend, where have you been? I play all day. I really need to grow up. I'm really childish. Like, I don't understand the method of me being so childish. Who raised me? I'm about to go in here without the nachos. Let me give me a sip of liquid IV in case they clown. I got energy to fight. Powered up. Oh, I forgot to clean my camera. My God, I forgot to clean my camera before I recorded. And it's really dirty. It was what I was supposed to do. I clean it when I get to the house. I mean, it's dirty. Like, bro, like it's been through the storm and rain. This is what I want y'all to do. Stop selling. It's your life. It's your money. It's your time. If something ain't right, take that shit back. I don't care if it was two dollars. You worked hard for that two dollars. Take it back. Don't know. Don't let nobody give you no cold, rundown, dirty, greasy food. Even if you can't get a replacement, get your money back. I'm dead serious, y'all. Quit, quit accepting stuff. I will take some back in a minute now because, baby. I, I worked hard for these coins. Don't give me no slops or y'all might not feel like it's that serious, but let me tell you, it is. So let's see these new nachos. And she was very apologetic. She was like, oh, God damn, God damn. She said, I cooked the chips a little less this time. And I um gave you more cheese. Yeah, because why? Why the f if I'm getting a nacho that's seven dang dollars, but I don't want nothing, the meat, I don't want none of that just cheese when you give me a lot of cheese. She had, like she made the cheese. Cheese head ass. You from Wisconsin? Shoot. 
they made it right though so with these nasty, i'm gonna just throw them in the trash that's gonna be my sign from god that i don't even need this let's just do a taste while we on camera mm, way better bro tell me why it's so hard to get up here they working on one side of it but i thought i was coming to see jesus do you hear me i got scared but i couldn't turn around i couldn't oh hold on y'all my cousin Colin. and then it's a lady up here today she's like low-key talking to herself walking down the hill like that's the kind of stuff i be saying be careful of when you come out here because it's a prayer mountain but you never really know like who's up here y'all can somebody come get me i'm scared to go back down that hill oh no oh no i'm so scared and that lady over here somewhere baby y'all see her? i ain't gonna put my camera on her she's just walking up and down the hill chanting something baby i love the lord but you'll get touched today I don't play them kind of games so i'm gonna low-key show y'all because her back is turned she's like just walking up and down she lifting her hands to the lord though so i'm gonna just get out her business because times is hard and baby girl could just be giving her praises to the lord amen amen uh oh i see a lot of people come to this mountain now and i see a lot of people go viral why mine didn't go viral the person who told y'all about it huh Y'all get on my nerves. Oh, look, it's a note in the tree. Lord, please bring peace and blessings. Please protect my family and loved ones. Aw. Amen. That's why I left their lunch. Amen. Ain't God good? So I came out here for a thank you, God, for my peace, my sanity, my happiness, my coins, the love I get my health my mental health and everything you're about to bless me with in the name of jesus i'm forever grateful i'm forever thankful amen let's go on over to the other end all right guys here's the other end there's some people over here so i'm gonna watch my angle um let's see. i don't want to get nobody in frame but here's the view from this angle How do I hear today, y'all? Y'all have seen this a million times. But just in case you're new here, we can write stuff down here. Oh, yeah, that made me cry. You really don't know what people be going through with the lady. And she is like boo-hooing, so I just stayed and hugged her. And she was like, I'm on her in view. She was like, thank you so much. I really, really needed that today. I was just like, it'll be all right. Everything will be all right. Amen. Oh, yeah, I made it to the car. I don't know how I'm going to do these 110 degree, degree days. I guess I'm going to just have to stay in the house till the 7, 8 o'clock at night. The Lord just put it on my heart to go back and ask that lady, do she need a bill paid? And I don't get that kind of stuff on camera, but I ain't no liar. And, um, yeah, let's just say I helped her. Which is ironic. I just got me gift in London some on camera, but that's different. This is a, this is a vulnerable state right here. Um, and it wasn't even an expensive bill. It was meant for me to come up here today. It was definitely meant. Now, let me get back down this road. Oh, I'm so scared. We took the sunglasses off. Okay, I'm finna show y'all. Then I'm gonna have to put the camera down because I'm for real scared. Oh. Oh, wow. Girl, you can't walk backwards. This is not what I'm trying to show y'all, though. Let me get the camera off her. She's scaring the heck out of me because why are you walking backwards? I'm trying to show y'all where they working on the road. Okay, here it is. So I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm so scared. Why he just standing here? Get to work. He might be hot. It's, it's gonna be easier going down. Hold on. Cause I'm I'm scared. I'm gonna go off the cliff. 
and roll down the mountain, child. It's gonna roll me right on into my house. Oh, okay. It was easier going down than up, y'all. Going up, you know how your car be on the road back the other way? <laughs> It's dark in my room, right? Let me tell you, I'm finna get right back in these streets cause our, uh, these nails glow in the dark. <laughs> By the way, guess what I had on today? Y'all know, London said I smell awesome. Here's the last, not vlog tray because I was in LA, but Vanilla 28, the last tray I did, Kylie, La Capitale, Zerjoff, this Amber Vanilla, Laura Mercier that you can get at Marshall's. Pass that swab by BDK. And Lancome Ubu K. My favorite on this tray was La Capitale. I mean, my favorite is Vert, but this it wasn't on the tray. This tray is quite interesting, but it's what we're rocking with, okay? So we got Born in Roma, Coral Fantasies. This is not the original one. Twilly by Hermes. A La Rose by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. Tom Ford Bitter Peach. <laughs> Chanel Gabrielle Essence. Please make sure you say Essence right here. Otherwise, no ma'am. And Cassilli from Parfums de Marley. Here's Frank Frank. He has an unfit mother, so his grandmother had to get custody. And um, so I got him this Baskin Rock filter. So I don't have to clean the tank. Because I ain't gonna be able to do it. This is to be smelling like a big grown man. So it's a rock. He can bask on it and it filters the tank. I just gotta change the filter every two weeks. The only problem is his bad but be escaping. So if he could climb up on this and escape, I just know he can climb up there and jump out. So I'm gonna have to get a mesh thing to put over here. Hey boy, it's your grandma. You lonely? I know, I know, I know. Your mama acting the fool. It's all right though. I got you. Here's another look of everything I got. Wow. Wow. Bum. Was I not just speaking of these? <laughs> Please don't be afraid to buy them, guys. It's just, I'm fragile. <laughs> I'm fragile. And I love the ones that have the little tab on them. It makes them so easy to put on because they're so freaking little. So I will link the press on toenails below. I got all like Frenchies because that's the ones I like better. And some of these, I thought those was white, but guess not. And let me see my favorite pair. Uh, These... This is a giveaway box, guys. I haven't done a YouTube giveaway in so long. I always do them on Instagram. It's full to the bottom. I'm not gonna even go through everything that's in here. Just know it's full. I have the ways that you enter. It'll be the first comment pin below the video. Sorry guys, Nicole, mom wants these natural lashes. So I'm gonna replace them with something else real quick. Let's replace with that 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 a beauty sponge and some clips guys i'm sitting here because i want to buy this vanity over again but in another color i love this vanity it's the uh, michael amini hollywood swank but baby it's been through the storms and rain I, how am i gonna sell that it is so freaking heavy oh my gosh um so but i'm debating on if i want to get it in like the cream color or if I want to get it in black. Only reason why I'm thinking about black is because if I get black, I won't have to buy the bench again. I already have the bench. Because that bench alone is $500. For me to sit up. See? $4,000. For me to sit up and let it get. Oh, gosh. They don't even sell the color. I'm. Would you come on for my camera, die? They don't even sell the color I got anymore. See? It's the same bench I already got. $4,087. This vanity was five grand when I got it, I think. Hold on. Oh, yeah. What y'all think? Black or cream? Because, uh uh, I've been working too hard today. Who takes me? But I gotta. Yeah. Let's 
Let's just put on this real quick. Not the battery blink and I have been working. Creating a lot of content. This smells so good. Is it peachiness? Definitely has a nectar smell, so somebody ordered me some barbecue, but they don't deliver, so I gotta go get it. Let's go. Let me show y'all what I got real quick. Thank God Jimmy just posted a vlog. I'm going to sit my hot tail still real quick because I don't know if I said it already. I have to be at the Allen Cosmetic Company store tomorrow. Your girl on tour. I got an out of sight. <gasps> Bitch! If I would have dropped this, but I would have went me in my own motherfucking self. Do you understand me? Baked potato. Came with some pickles. And it came with a buttermilk pie. Baby, she ain't doing that. <laughs> I'm already doing the food with this. Why would I add a buttermilk pie to it? <laughs> yeah, we still got sodas in there from the cruise, I guess, because ain't nobody here to drink them. My daddy drink diet. I drink ginger ale. Gonna give me a spirey today. Baby, let me get my outfit together now. Put my nails back on now. Because tomorrow, I damn near got to drive out of town, honey. I ain't got time to play in the morning. I really don't. Um, yeah, I know every time I'm, I be going through my comments, I come up with a thought. And I think it bothers a lot of you guys um, from the speculations and stuff of who I've messed with and etc. Um, of a high-end caliber, no matter how I messed with, if it's like real close friends, if it's um, just for that night, if it's just for one reason, um, that somebody of my status could get those people like everybody don't have to have their body done to pull certain men and stuff everybody don't have to look a certain way i don't have nothing done to my body obviously i have a fupa i ain't got no bbl my breast sag my belly button almost but i also can pimp <laughs> let this be a lesson to my girls let this be a lesson to y'all that ain't what they be looking for half the time. I have no problem, have never had a problem, and got a hell of a list that I don't expose of high caliber people. But um, no matter what kind of relationship it was, point I'm trying to make is y'all be mad as hell like I can't. Or it's like when people gossip about what I be doing, the comments are almost be as if the comments are almost as if I can't. I'm not capable of pulling so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so from the guess y'all be making and stuff of who it is. Um, but that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy because it's a lot of things I might possess that somebody who got their body done and who look a certain type of way don't. It could just be me. I'm real. Baby, I'm like one of the homies. And I go on and on. No, <laughs> Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Let me shut the hell up. But nah, for real. Y'all stop that. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. No matter what. Like, even... She gotta remember this. Chelsea had said something in the video. And I was like, I had no problem pulling blah, blah, blah back in the day. The comments went crazy under me. They was like, but did they want to marry you? But did they show you in put? It don't matter. I still pulled them and who said I wanted to get married and be shown in public and be you get what I'm saying like that's why let's use Lil Wayne for example you would have never ever guessed Lil Wayne like the caliber of women he like now every time you see him he got a big thick plus size white girl on him been liking big women so we're gonna try these wipes that I got today I didn't even look and realize that these aren't the regular MAC wipes. These are the micellar water wipes. So we're going to try these. Um, the regular ones come in like a whoa. I always drop that white gray package. So, child, I was just picking stuff up, child. These people say get whatever you want. And did. <laughs> but I don't want to go back to old school throwback plat that just had a beauty room full of stuff. Just full. Just over flooding with stuff baby man i used to be on everybody in name mama pr baby 
And I ain't gonna lie, it was overwhelming because of y'all. <laughs> she get all this stuff. What the heck did y'all want me to do? Go on a marathon? I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna stay at home tonight. I'm gonna be a good girl. And that's another thing. Y'all need to quit clocking my vagina. Just because I say I'm on a date, somebody spend a night, I'm going over somebody's house. That don't mean I'm uh, busting it wide open and telling them to bring it back. Come on now. That's the only time y'all can get some attention is when y'all... God damn. I'm finna tell me a good how bad. I'm finna pull my clothes out like it's the first day of school. I should've went fill my tank up earlier. Yeah, cause I gotta get on after tomorrow so I can get on back so I don't hit traffic and I gotta pass by Mr. Get It Right House. Oh God. And dang. I kinda miss him. That man was fun. Shoot. Dang. Let me tell y'all one last thing. So my friend earlier was like, I'm going to send you something to eat if that's all with you. I'm like, sure, yeah, that's all with me. So I was like, I want some barbecue. And I always go to this little one spot and get this barbecue. And they got a good baked potato. So I went to pick it. They, I was like, can you give my daddy a chopped beef? So people be extra. They got my daddy the same thing. They got me the chopped beef with the potato, a slice of pie, all that. I brought that stuff back home. My daddy was like, all I want is a chopped beef. I just sit in the kitchen anyway. But my daddy cleaned it. Do you hear me? My daddy slurped down, baby, when a crumb left in there. But I said, I, I thought all you wanted was a chai beef, my boy. Where's the pie? Where? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't drink. A lot of people be asking me if I'm drunk. I don't drink. I just naturally act like Good morning this. for me and my cowboy boots. Sis going back to work. I feel like I got a nine to five. And I know. <clears throat> We're headed to another cosmetic company store. Today we are going to the original store in Allen, Texas. This is the first cosmetic company, Cosmetics. It got an S at the end. Company store that I started going to years ago when I was telling y'all how to fill y'all kit and how to build y'all makeup collection. It used to be over in the corner and then they moved in the middle to a bigger spot. So we're going to work for them today. Come on, booked and busy. What we want to put on? Let's let's just go and hit hit them boys with Casilli. This is so highly, all of the beat, this is not BDK, I always say that. Perfume de Marley sprays get a lot of, not all of them, but this is more fruity. It has peach vibes, but don't have peach in it. It's just really good. And I got mine signed. Girl, they was laughing at me because I had, at the time I only had five perfume de Marley's. And I got all my bottles signed. What's so funny? <laughs> This a over a thousand dollars worth of perfume. If I want to get every bottle signed three, four times, what's the issue? What's the issue? Okay, and I'm just gonna put on a splash of Twilly. Twilly gives me powder. The dry down is ginger and powder. Twilly, I did not like at first, but oh boy, when this shit settle, mm, please give y'all perfumes time to settle a little bit. Some casual, nothing over. When I do these kind of promos. I take it down. I try to try to cover as many of my tattoos as possible. Try not to have my boobs out because you never know where it's going to be posted and stuff. And people are over opinionated, so I just put on a. It's ain't Texas. Woo! Okay. I don't want to have to carry anything in my hand, so I put that same fanny pack back on just to keep my purse, I mean, my phone and stuff in. Baby, don't forget your wallet. Baby, don't I need my Bucky's cup? Don't I need my Bucky's cup that's limited edition and hard to get that's all i want what are y'all talking about some play go get your tough word boy i bust out laughing y'all hell ain't that pity y'all that man did a lot for me he can have some tough words and towels yeah let, let the queen of clear this stuff up say something real quick and let me tell y'all why i do this because y'all like to run the gossip and commentary pages and speculate on what me and, and my um yoni doing so i'll be liking the clear stuff up when I um, told y'all about, when I did my vlog and I titled it, he quit me, I put Shug out. That man did not quit me. L let's be for real. We gonna be anything, be for fucking real, okay? It was a joke. I said that in the vlog. Just like a TV show, if we say something in a vlog, 
sometimes we take it out and put it in a title and then remember in the vlog i was like hey i get quit on my day off ha <laughs> ha it was a joke it was a joke baby clearly if you watch the vlog let me just tell y'all because everybody be like why you putting people in your business i told y'all because i put y'all in my business and it's monetized so um so let me tell let me just do this one day and it ain't gonna be a minute I did not like the way that man reacted to me putting my daughter out. That you ain't you ain't for me, bro. If you go go get you a sandwich and some at a restaurant and I'm sitting at home crying, throwing my daughter clothes out the window, like the fuck. So um, I told him I said, look, I'm just gonna go out. I was finna go out. I was gonna go to I was gonna drink that night. I was gonna go to a bar, and then I said I'm finna come get my stuff because you you just not go quit. You just not go keep missing the bait. So I said, I'm just gonna come get my stuff. I'm gonna pull up, bring my shit downstairs. So I snapped and went and got my stuff. And then I left and I blocked him. I told y'all in another video, that's a bad habit of mine. Like, I, if I don't got nothing to say to you, block. Cause you gonna just keep calling me. Like I got so many people blocked. That's just the thing, that's just what I do. Is it right? Absolutely not. But do I do it? Absolutely, I'll work on that. And so the next day, I'm like, maybe I overreacted. I have to calm down a lot of times. So I'm like, maybe I overreacted, okay? I, I, I don't think I did because my child is very, is a very, th that's a very hard string to me. I wish everybody child was. I hope everybody child is rather. And so I just felt like you didn't react like you needed to. And I even said, it's, I don't know if it's because you don't have children so you don't understand back to what I was saying. So the next day, I felt bad, like, man, here I go, popping out. But I felt like I really had a reason to pop off this time. So anyway, I said, I'm gonna call him. So he answered, first ring. And I said, so what we gonna do? I'm like, what are we gonna do? Because we can't be, we can't be, oh, I love you, I love you. You one of my favorite people in the world and beefing every other week over the smiling shit. Well, that was a smile, but anyway. And we went back and forth and it, it was just too much hesitation in it to me. Like if I call you up and I say, what we gonna do? It, it shouldn't be no, uh, well, you gotta think on it. I said, well, let me tell you this. If you gotta think on it, we don't need to be doing this. Baby, ain't no thinking when it come to platinum. That's a no brainer. I don't know if you being funny, you mad, you playing hard. But you can't do that with me. So I was like, yeah, let's just go and go our separate ways. And that's when he was like, um, I love you to death. I mean, I love you to death. We got so much history, so much friendship, but I don't like the way you be snapping on me. And that's when I told him, yeah, if you hesitate, go on. on. Go, go in this world and find what you think is better for you, sir. For the third time. Hope you get it right this time. I need to quit hollering at this camera down. But y'all, um, let me tell you, I'm really in therapy. I, I stay in therapy off and on. I just don't talk about it much anymore because that is something I need to work on. But to, to my defense, to my defense, to my defense, um, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I don't like to compare people, but I was in a situation when me and Nicole was separated and etc. to where that person didn't feel love unless she was acting a fool. And if y'all can relate in the comments, let me know, and it's very toxic. And I used to tell that man, you know, look, I'm trying to get out of those ways. Like, I don't want to have to do that. And I'm gonna give y'all an example, and I'm gonna stay calm this time because I do be popping out, man. But stuff, some shit just don't be making sense to me. So, me and this man, um, <laughs> this is so awkward. But me and this man, um, got into it really bad over a stripper baby a stripper and it wasn't how y'all think got into it bad it's just like we used to do too much right um and um have fun together too much and and so i stopped talking to him for like three weeks so i just popped up at his job just out of nowhere and like take me to lunch and the man came to the car hold on i got three minutes miles the man came to the car i mean we are into it i ain't talking 
the man literally walked up to the car and was like, you finna shoot me? Smiling. That used to give him a thrill, y'all. When I used to block him, cancel his flights, that's what, when I used to go off, like he would let me go on a whole rampage and be like, you need some. <laughs> it didn't bother him at all, so I kinda just feel like, um, I kinda just feel like I'm, I'm still stuck in some ways of, um, I, I don't even know how to say this. I just feel like I'm, I, you never know who, who won't what. And clearly, Mr. Couldn't Get It Right couldn't handle that kind of snapping. That's not how he communicated and stuff. And, but, you know, not one time did he say until I stopped talking to him that it bothered him. So you gotta start letting people know relationships that stuff bother you. You're not gonna put up with that because like, dude, the way I would go off on Mr. Get It Right when he couldn't get two miles, take The way I would like snap on Mr. Couldn't Get It Right, that other man, that would have turned him on. So not saying that I took those habits into this situation, but what I'm trying to say is everybody is different and handles stuff different. Like, the other dude didn't see that it snapping. He was just like, she needs some. She having a bad day. Girl, calm down. And Mr. Couldn't Get It Right was internalizing that snapping. So, yeah. That don't mean I need to, y'all be killing me. Take some time to yourself. Take a break. Don't date anyone right now. Heal. Maybe I can heal and have fun, baby. I really, I am. I've healed a lot and I'm having a lot of fun. So I just need to figure out, I just need to get, get me in check, baby, because I do be going out. I do, I do, I do. I don't know, I ain't gonna say that's an Oak Cliff thing because I know plenty of people from Oak Cliff that's south, that's not as harsh and gangster as me. But it, it roots from something, but I'm not ready to talk about that yet. Oh, I've already talked about it when I was telling y'all how me and my brother and them used to jump on my daddy. Like, my whole life, I literally saw my mama, like, scared of my daddy all of them time. And before I be scared of any motherfucking body, bitch, I burn the fucking house down. I, baby, I will knock your head between the goddamn washer and dryer before you think you finna even touch me. That's why that Cassie st video was triggering to me. I personally have only got hit by one person, and that was literally... My freshman year of high school, I mean college, and my brother Cedric, the one that lives in London, tore it down. Baby, I thought my straight brother was finna come over there and clown. No, ma'am. My straight brother was, what happened? Let's get to the bottom of this. And my brother in London was like, ain't shit to talk about. This nigga hit your sister and clowned. Do you hear me? God damn. So, I just feel like um, that's a trauma response for me. I'm trying not to cry. That's a trauma response for me. And although I feel like lanes to take exit 19 um, on the right onto US 75 North toward McKinney. My daddy is an awesome person to me. Well, especially growing up. Um, my daddy is a very lovable person to a lot of people. He wasn't to my mama. So Whenever I feel like a dude is even trying me, about to try me, a look like they gonna raise a hand, I pop out first. Nah, uh-uh. I guess we both gonna have black eyes because I'm not finna just fold up. I'm, I ain't, ain't no folding with me. Ain't no folding. I grab anything. <clears throat> like, my son, daddy, I was 18, 19 and would grab a pistol, a 40-ounce bottle, a goddamn brick, a stick, a, a whatever. Like, who you think you finna touch? And that's just something I gotta work through. I am working through it. I've gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better. And I, I think that's based on Nicole because she's so fragile and stuff. She she would talk me down off of my anger a lot. 
even if the anger was towards her so yeah that sums that up that's not an excuse but i'm just letting y'all know why i'm finna start working on it because i know that's not the proper response to everything in life but it's just like who you think you trying well i will be in jail smelling in my mugshot y'all about to think i'm crazy but this is cs is for so i don't got nothing to do but talk i'm gonna tell y'all what men don't like now, i ain't gonna say all men but i, I listen to your little auntie they don't like when you got it they, they might say oh she begging and she getting on my nerves begging but they really like doing stuff for us they really really like nurturing they really really like you being kind of dependent on them they really really like you um you feeling like they missed to make it happen and I'm, I'm not talking about him i'm just saying in general what i've noticed with a lot of men is um once it gets to the point to where you big dog they don't like you the same you know what i'm saying they want somebody who um they want somebody who they can feel like speed check reported ahead of you at 75 north they want to feel like the king superior you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna give y'all a word of advice if you somebody like me who got a little porn on you or you got you got your life together act like you don't <laughs> act like you don't don't be paying for stuff don't act like uh let them do every date every trip every what because i'll be playing saying i'm big dog status i can go guilt for guilt trip for trip but that's not a good thing they don't like that he lying he lying nope they don't want no independent woman yeah i got chills pulling up in here because i really haven't been back to this alley since that um man killed all those people i think this packed on a tuesday during the day that i gotta park all the way somewhere else all right guys i'm here if you're looking for this one in allen it is directly across from tummy hill figure and michael kors look guys they got amber honey see what i mean grand prairie didn't have my color so you gotta try all of them because they all have different things y'all know this used to be my favorite foundation for my kit okay guys let's explain being a roll really 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 quick this is the card every time you do a roll just like any other bingo you get a $25 off and you get entered to win this one winner per store. We're gonna run over the grapevine. <laughs> the single life. I don't have to worry about somebody. Where you at? Can you come in? Where's my lunch? Where? Da, 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 da. I can just run the streets out goddamn day. Okay. Everything they talk about is gonna be up on the makeup channel because this vlog ratchet. Ooh! Y'all some eyelashes. Let me hold my skirt. All right, guys, we are at Grapevine. So I'm going to show y'all the quickest way to get to that cosmetic store. You park right here on the corner of Neiman Marcus Last Call and Rainforest Cafe and go in through this door. I was trying to show y'all the way, but somebody called. Somebody out. Hey, how you doing? Somebody always calling. Girl, there's nobody want you on camera. She's going to stop them posed and everything. So you literally come up by Gap and then it's over here to your left. So let's get this out the way. Y'all tired of the cosmetic come here? Y'all better not be. Baby, y'all be paying stuff for them all that money. You can come get this stuff for up to 60% off. By the way, this is the only location that's actually off inside of an indoor mall. Trust me, that matters to some of y'all because it be hot in Texas during the summer. Guys, look at their $5 wall. Whoa. Guys, they have Fix Plus. Like what? Okay. The only store that has... Um, Fix plus so that's what i mean by you have to go to all of them they all have different things all right guys all the real content is shot she's going to see now they don't want me to pay for this stuff so they're going to see how to ring it up or i don't have to that's sweet because i was going to but they like girl you don't ran across town two days in a row what are we gonna make you pay for something for so yeah <laughs> going into sephora now of course i can't record in here but i'm seeing if they got the fenty body butter it's on sale getting the new shades of the dior oil y'all shot these from bath and body work they say they're all comparable to sol de janeiro i don't need any sprays though so yeah so let's see if it's something in here that i want to eat we'll see honey we'll see people looking at me who i am not recording y'all 
creeping or something. Nikki, get your butt up in the morning and go grocery shopping. And I ain't playing. Because if you eat out one more time. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> uh-uh. That Chick-fil-A don't send me. Look at me. No Chick-fil-A for me for a month. Because I literally feel way down and tired now. All I did was eight. I'm going to check my sugar. I'm going to be like an old person. I got the thing in my nice stand by BS. Got a blood pressure machine, an oxygen machine, a blood sugar monitor. Menopause, y'all. She got everything high and off. So, I got this with from Shein. I'm not going to try it on. Oh, it kind of looks cheap in person. Honest to God, truth, this looks very cheap in person. I saw it on somebody else, and it was, like, so cute to me. And so, I literally bought it before when I could have just waited and asked them to send it to me in the sponsorship. But it was low stock, so I went ahead and bought it, and it's not giving. It might be, it might give on, but like this, mm-mm, she ain't no. But I'll still link it below. And it, actually, they had another one that was more purple with green trimming. But it was sold out. So I went with this one. It below. Because I got the dress for like $8. Wow, somebody's cheap. <laughs> it is. So let's talk to Cosmetics Company Store. This is a cute little Too Faced bag. Y'all know it's going to be in a giveaway though. Because y'all. Y'all know I like pink. <laughs> no, I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to keep that one though. Problem is probably it's like a little. Um. Uh, I ain't gonna see it because y'all think y'all lit on to how to already. <laughs> I got all three of the Fix Plus. I got the regular, the lavender, and the rose. If you buy these in store, they're like 30 some dollars at the cosmetic company store. They were like 14. No cap. I got the lotion to nectarine blossom and honey. Dang, I should have I should have got the one that didn't have a stick on it. Uh-uh, cause uh-uh. Why they put that big price stick on my bottle? I'm trying to look luxurious. Oh, it came right off. So this nectarine blossom and honey, y'all know I got the perfume, so I just and I got the dossier version. So this is all just some goodies they put in a bag. This is the ginger. Listen, I asked her was it anything in there that's comparable to the Fenty? And she told me this, but this was a little too earthy because of the ginger. This is Origins Ginger Ginger Whip Body Cream. I got a high impact lash amplifying serum. This is a lab series all in one face wash. This stuff is good for when I travel. This is a uh, Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Oil. This is a MAC Viva Glam Matte Lipstick right there. And then here's something else. This is all gifted from Grapevine. <gasps> I'm a credit door. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I don't have this one and I had it in a, a diffuser and love this scent. Oh my gosh. That was so sweet of them. Mm. <laughs> guys, see, I went on over to Sephora and got all three of the new shades. I've been telling y'all I was going to get them, but I wanted to see them in person. And shade don't matter because they all come off clear. <laughs> they changed the package in the box used to be silver. So I'll come back with... I have them out because this camera about to die, child. We got bronzed glow. Yeah, these are $40 a pop. This one right here is poppy coral. I'll just keep it back here. And this is the one I really wanted. It's pink lilac. It's like a purple color. All right, guys, I need y'all help with something. I, I hardly ever ask for help. But I'm dead serious about this because I'm about to just delete it and start all the way over. So, y'all know I joined TikTok extremely late when y'all was busted, busted, and, and when y'all was doing all that during the pandemic, I was, let me slow down, during the pandemic, I was sick as hell. So, I wasn't thinking about getting on no TikTok. So, once I started feeling better, got through grief and stuff, I started one late as heck. It was doing great. I mean, absolutely amazing. Like... 100,000 views, 100,000 views. Everything was doing good. They said, do you want to monetize it? I thought it was going to be like YouTube. Yeah, sure. Why would you say, no, I don't want to monetize? Worst decision of my life. Since I monetize the things, barely get over 500 views. Like, And I know y'all going to say, well, just demonetize. Okay, yeah, I did that. <laughs> and they still won't get, I still ain't got back to what I used to get. 
can y'all help me? Like, come on, somebody help me. Should I, or should I just start over? Because I ain't making no money off of it or nothing. So, guys, I got to tell y'all something. I talked to, um, what am I going to call him? I, I, I talked to Sir. I, I talked to Sir. Um, it was a much needed talk. And I'm glad I talked to Sir. I'm not saying that it's going to get any further than that. But we needed to hear each other out about why um, things got a little weird between us. You know? It was a very um, wholesome, organic conversation. The guy is a great guy, y'all. I, I cannot take that away from him. I say he just, he just not ready for me or what I got to give. I say that all the time. I've never... I've never talked bad about him except when I was ranting and when I was mad and I still was respectful. So, um, I'm, I'm glad we talked and if we can start back kicking it going out without all the extra, I'm fine with that. He's a fun guy. We have a lot of fun together. Um, if not, I'm glad we talked. But you guys can chat about that, uh, but I'm going to send over your phone number or her phone number to you and you can reach out let her know who you are okay um hi okay i love your work thank you <laughs> thank you, you are like you, the, what finally like the whole video is great but when you walked out the door with those two little guys <laughs> over your head, i'm like okay she's got it <laughs> <laughs> thank you um terrific so angelus has been talking about you for a while uh -huh. and um you know I was so excited and thank you so much for supporting them with that beauty bingo video. I would love to add you to our sort of grouping or um, team of influencers that are working with us. You interested in working with us? Absolutely. In case you're confused, I just got hired on for marketing for the cosmetics company store. Now, don't confuse that with what I've been doing all week. What I've been doing all week was a paid sponsorship for the Dallas stores only. This is the head market of all the cosmetic company stores. And yeah, the deal is dealing. <laughs> On the docket, welcome to week of using a lot, 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 a lot of gas. First up on the docket today, I have to run to the cemetery. Someone posted on Facebook that the people who own the cemetery put a banner up in the funeral home that they're going to start throwing away our banners and our flowers and all that because they are under new management. So I'm going to run out there and see if those banners are still down there um, so that I can pick them up so they don't throw them away. But if I get here and they've already thrown them away, I'm about to have a really big problem with the friend or home because y'all don't even upkeep out here. Y'all don't even cut the grass. Y'all see, I couldn't even put my mama banner down because the man was literally out there Mother's Day weekend mowing. Only because it was Mother's Day weekend, I guarantee you. The day before Mother's Day. And so, I'm going to have an issue with them because how dare you guys not put that up as a banner at the cemetery. Please do not lay anything down. We're cleaning up. We're under new management. Why would you put it at the funeral home? Why would we have a need to be at the funeral home? Our loved ones are already deceased and buried. So, I got to pipe down sometime, y'all. But it's, when you're dealing with people in death and grief, do not trigger them. They should have put something down. And I'm going to be very nice when I call the friend of home if these banners are not out here. You guys should have put something at the cemetery. Gabrielle Essence, because I say I'm going to the cemetery. Y'all know me. I stop and get something to eat. I stop and buy something. Oh, I gotta come home and edit. I gotta have. I gotta edit another video for the cosmetics company store. We're here, unfortunately. They put a lot of new people by my son. Ooh, thank you, God. They didn't touch the banner. They took the flowers up. They did, which is fine because they were very, very old. But they cleaned up my son's grave. So. His tombstone. Yeah, I'm so thankful because I'm for real. They probably would have sent me today. I love this banner. I love the pictures on here. My baby was so handsome. I'm 
so happy. They didn't touch my mama flowers or anything at all. So should I? Her birthday is the 30th. It is currently now the 22nd. Should I not chance it? Y'all running from the biggest spider. I looked up and the wind had knocked my whole dang camera over. Baby, let me get this. I was too cute. And I still look the same, honey. Look at baby Platt. Look at baby Platt. <laughs> look at Maya twin. Take them home, spray them down, roll them up. Thank God, because I didn't want to have to spaz today. <sighs> I'm so happy, y'all. I did not want to have to clown. All right, baby boy. Send some love, some prosperity, some peace down here for your mama. You and your granny. Jeez, I'm going through. Send some love down here for me. All right, baby boy. All right. I love you and I miss you. Y'all know I like to see how people be decorating, baby. Not the gray goose. Not the gray goose, honey. <laughs> That's too cute. Look, we are here to pour into each other, to uplift each other. I think this, I not, I think I know this what a lot of times we're missing, especially being content creators and being in a different phase of our life in that department. You know what I'm saying? So look, we're here to uplift and pour. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Congratulations. And I can't wait to see what God does in your life, sis. Let let go and let God leave all of other thoughts. Cause what God got for you can't nobody take from you. And you remember, sis, you got two hundred and fifty thousand people, whether they watch today or they watched ten years ago, that followed you for because of who you are and what you had to bring to the table. No matter what nobody else got going on, there's an audience for each and every one of us. And what God has for us, can't nobody take from us. As long as we do what we're supposed to do and do the work. My triple back ass came to Lisa Soul Food for lunch. And y'all went to get out. Oh no, ma'am, you better scoot up. Excuse my appearance, but I'm cleaning up and I'm about to do my hair. Y'all know it is so nerve wracking waiting on companies to approve your content. You're like so nervous, especially me because I feel like I'm so country, like southern, like faux, her. I feel like I'm so ghetto. I be like, girl, they be loving it. I'm scared to read this essay louder when it takes to me. Oh, they say, I love it, but there are a couple of things. Okay, let me do my edits. <laughs> that edit had me shook and y'all ain't got no sleep. Let me tell y'all what my dumb butt did. Drunk a dang on Pepsi. It, one o'clock in the morning, I didn't fall asleep to six o'clock. <sighs> it's they louder. <laughs> it's a love, perfect, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was shook it, baby. Cause baby, who needs them coins? I could be outside on more day weekend like, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, bye. I got my cup, I got my cup. Over and over with no with <sighs> My Bucky's cup. <sighs> Just can't see me grocery's child. I don't know who the baby thank you. And why they put my bread in here with my sodas? Baby, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Y'all know I ain't no morning person unless I gotta get to the money. I'm going right back to sleep. Oh, hey. It's only 1.15 and I ain't vlogged all day. I ain't worked all day. I was supposed to do two hair reviews. <sighs> yeah. I, I have had a rough day. I just think that everything has finally caught up with me. For May. Like in. I've had a rough day. I, it's no way to sugarcoat it. So I literally have slept all day. I woke up this morning at 8 o'clock. Oh yeah I saw that. Oh I have been on here today. I got groceries. I woke up to, I didn't even put them up. I got them in the house and put them on the table. And my daddy put them up and I came right back here and went to sleep. I woke up, ate, went back to sleep. Woke up, ate a sandwich and some soup. Went back to sleep, like I can't stay awake today. I don't know what that's about. And I'm just, I have really been, um, I've just really been hard on myself today, y'all. I'm going through one of these, maybe it's me, phases. Because I don't understand what the heck is going on in my life right now. Um, 
what I am going to start doing though. Um, I say this all the time, but um, if you guys noticed when I was in LA or whatever, I'm just going to start watching what I put on camera a little bit more because if you don't put it on here, can't nobody judge you over it. But let me tell you why I talk about my life so much on here. For one, it's monetized. Y'all do it. Y'all tell y'all be signed on Facebook and stuff and ain't getting paid. All right. No, but for real, for two, um, because I like to control my own narrative and why go to a gossip or a commentary or page or a relative because family is the worst a cousin and try to figure out what's going on with my life i could tell y'all right after you don't have to speculate you don't have to make up nothing i'm telling you what happened right out of my mouth but what's crazy is Aaliyah's Aaliyah face video just went off and she was saying how some stuff you just gotta start keeping off the internet now i just wanted to tell my story before somebody else could tell it and tell it in the wrong way and make up stuff and I've told my story. So as of now, we don't need to talk about Mr. Giddy right no more. We don't need to talk about Nicole no more. I mean, I still talk to Nicole daily, all day, every day, literally. I don't know why that bothers some of y'all so much. But I do. Um, we family. Like, we literally family. We raised kids together. We lived together 15 years. And we're not enemies. I don't know what's so hard to understand about that. Um, but yeah, after today, child, y'all ain't finna, y'all ain't finna know about nobody, baby. I could have 20 boyfriends, 80 girlfriends, and y'all gonna have to guess and make some shit up for real this time because I'm over it. Then I have been getting bit like crazy. I have been getting bit like crazy, guys. And you know, I travel to four different countries and states in one month. So... I'm like, Lord, have I brought some bed bugs or something back from my hotel? Whole time I had a goddamn mosquito in her turn my ass up. So I finally killed it. It was in my bathroom on the wall and outside. And I had to kill that bitch with my hand because that bitch been biting my booty. It's been biting my knees because I don't sleep with clothes on. It's been, well, or I do, but not bottoms. It's been biting my, it been my face over here. Baby, you doing too much. So I had to... Y'all you know what I'm saying? Back on my sugar free. Because I'm on some other pills for something going on with me. And it elevates your blood sugar. So I gotta watch that. It's just like. Psh. I'm gonna put on L.I. Rose though. That'll make me feel good while I go to bed. One. I ain't gonna put on a lot y'all. Because I'm going to bed. I'm not a rose type person. But it's just something about this one. This is the same person who makes Baccarat. It gives me like. Feminine sweet rose, not like bitter rose. I love it. I got the lotion. I got the shower gel. I think I got the hair mist. Every no, I don't have the hair mist to that. So that's a good, good little buy. If it's like springy daytime, you know, it's not gonna give you what Baccarat, Usamu, Gentle Fluidy Go, all I'm gonna give you. This is going to give you like everyday spring daytime. It's it's beautiful. It's perfect for bed too. That's why I just put it on. Um and yeah, I'm going to I'm out of another Jeffrey Spencer oil. They have start back doing the oil making class, so I will leave them below. I'm actually going to save this bottle though. I was going to throw this away because they're refillable. So, that's a little update on today. To, oh, I was supposed to go to together Lens this weekend. You know, I'm an ambassador. They had a um a karaoke night to jump off this weekend tonight. I was supposed to go to from 8 to 12. Didn't go. I'm just not in the mood. And I, I'm learning that if you're not in the mood, don't do it. Don't do it. it you'll be all right. They'll be all right. Um, but tomorrow we do have lunch at the African American Museum of Art. I think that's what it's called. The ambassadors, they're having tacos and tequilas so we can get familiar with the... um. The grounds where the stage is, where our VIP is, where our creator lounge is, where all of that is. So the day of, we're not all flustered. The, it is an all weekend thing from 12. The last person don't even get on stage to 10. So I ain't, y'all know y'all live in the be out there all day. No, 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 no. I'm going every day at the time I want to see people, okay? But I do want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for all the love y'all have been giving me lately. I have really just been trying to push. I'm going to throw this shit in the motherfucking trash. It's a piss.
pissing me off sitting over here. It's triggering me. <laughs> it is really triggering me because what? What just I just went through like two months of bliss and then it just crashed out of nowhere. Like that shows you how unpredictable life is. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I be, I've been missing that man like crazy this week. So, whatever. But thank y'all for all the love and the support you guys have been showing me. I'm just gonna keep on rolling. What it say? That thing go keep on rolling. <clears throat> keep on rolling. And um, I'm just gonna try. I, I'm I'm I don't know. Guys, I text Nicole today and I said, I don't know what's going on. I, I think the stuff of my daughter is hitting me. Then it's Memorial Day weekend and me and Nicole had made this pact that we would never spend another holiday alone. And I'm about to. And I just think it's just all hitting me in the face at once. But like always, y'all know I'll be alright. I, I might cry a little bit. I'm going to come out swinging. So, I'll see y'all. Tomorrow, we gotta be there early. We gotta be there at 12, child, because they gotta take us around the whole fair ground. And I'm gonna be like, get, get your lit on one of them church, get your lit auntie one of them real church things they be having in the store. Until Lil Wayne come on, I'm getting the fuck up. <laughs> he might as well put me on stage at this point, because y'all know I'm a clown. Good morning, guys. We are headed out for lunch. Is it okay to have my purse on the bed? Y'all go crazy when I put stuff on the bed. Get that head out the bed. Get that child. I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously asking. Bitter peach. Come forward. I don't have nails on. My toes aren't done. Aren't done. Mm. Yeah, my toes are not done. This is that orange dress from Shein. Just a little cute baby doll, baby doll type dress. I put this on because I don't want to carry it around the fairgrounds. Um, I have on these Tory Burch Miller earrings, the gold ones. These jewel Tory Burch slides. And um, these glasses are from Shein. I was debating on wearing them or these. Honestly, these look better. I know which ones I want. The ones that look like Bottega. Hold on. Oh, they smell good. Let it settle though. It can be overwhelming at first. There we go. Those Bottega dudes from Amazon. Anything I always link. Anything I wear, I show, I go. I try my best to link it below because a lot of you guys go all the way over to Instagram and stuff and say, hey, where did that shirt come from? Or, hey, and it's right below the video. <laughs> Yeah, they building a stage. We we behind the scenes. This Kira, Kira, right? Yes. <laughs> hey y'all. And when he's done, so we're gonna do a shot with the photographer. Then we're gonna do a shot with the social team. Then we're gonna do a video with the social team. Then y'all be done. <laughs> So we're about to eat, guys. Naya, say hey to the camera, camera. Kira, y'all ready? We got Dre, who you ready to see, Dre? So I'm ready to see Josh Levi. I've seen Kenyon in Dallas before, actually, but I'm ready to see him again. Uh, Maida, as well, and Amory. Those are some of my top picks. So you gonna turn up? Oh, I'm turning up. Show us what you gonna do. Turn up, baby. Show us what you gonna do. Show us what you gonna do. <laughs> You wit, you ready? You lit? <laughs> and I got a shot. Shot o'clock. Take that to a bigger Texas, huh? Let's go pay. <laughs> 
somebody getting a drone shot. Come on, drone. Main stage action. Okay, your general emissions. On the other side of the rail, that's where you're going to find VIP. Here's behind the scenes of the skating ring. Come on, behind the scenes. Reporting live, we got Kira right here. Where we're going to be all tomorrow? We are going to be at Togetherland. <laughs> Who do you want to see? Of course, I'm a cheesy girl. Hey, when they say trap or die, what you gonna do? Hey! Here's a Toyota then. Gonna have some action going on over here on stage as well as well as a lot of giveaways. This is for free. That's, that's why I got to designate Yeah. And I got you too. I ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Martell, y'all gonna have them samples tomorrow or what? The Gang Garden. This cute as well. This the man behind the yeah. plan. Uh-oh. It's the wrap, guys. I'm gonna end the vlog. Y'all are gonna have to see what happens at Together Land in my next video. Yeah. Right, right, right. Hey. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? We ready, sis. We ready. Hey. So where are we gonna be in between shows? In the air conditioning lounge? Baby, skating. Skating. Skating, because we know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Are there some YouTubers in the building? It is. It is. I slice some YouTubers. Hey, y'all. Tell oh my you goodness, Jameer of all trades. Y'all subscribe to me on YouTube. And she, got, she got the Sony. You know Sony Gang Gang. No, oh, it's, whoa, it's whoa, actually whoa. Canon Gang, but that's cool. It's Sony. That's cool. Well, I have both. Okay, I was I like, wait them. a minute. That battery just died too fast for me. That's fair. This that one will last fair. like three days. Y'all look at Jack Daniels. They represent. Yeah, we trying to get out the heat. We like how little Miss Dehydrated gonna stay hydrated tomorrow. <laughs> liquid IV. That's who I should have wrote Liquid IV and told them to get a stand out here. Girl, yes. Like with the little cups. Yes, because they don't need it. Mm -hmm. There's the stage, there's our lounge. There's the stage, there's our lounge. We are officially headed into Target. Yeah, I thought it was me, little Miss Dehydrated. Everybody out there was like, bro, how I'm gonna do this? How we gonna make it? And then I was like, y'all lounge is right here, right next to the motherfucking stage. When I get hot, I'm gonna sit in there like somebody rich auntie. It is, and I was so happy because I was like, but the one of me saying I let was, I'm sitting up here like, here I go. Thinking I, it, it, baby, they was complaining more than me. And that half of them had my age. Yeah, tell me why I was in this phone. I done walked off and left the bag. The lady was like, ma'am, your bag. Girl, I told y'all, my mother. Yeah, listen at this. Why does this always happen to me? My creator, VIP extra badge, was supposed to go shoot. And that's like exclusive. And then, Mr. Get It Right was like, he was like, am I your VIP? And I was like, like making faces, right? Because... And I was telling him, you know, I don't want to be seen out and I don't want people putting two and two together. But I had already got him a pass and was going to surprise him with it. So now I got two whole creator VIP passes. Guess I'll find somebody to give them to real quick. I hear you, Lord. The Lord is really telling me, worry about yourself. Because the other day, Nicole sent me another um, Jersey Mike's gift card. And we got a sandwich and I got my daddy one. Why he is still in the refrigerator? So I use some of my gift cards to get you a sandwich and you ain't even eat it. I don't understand why would the Lord bless me with such a big heart if it's just gonna get stumped on and abused nonstop. 